Boston saying a final farewell to Pete Frades. Hundreds of people packed the funeral service for the Beverly man who inspired the nation with his ALS fight. CBS and Boston's Paul Burton is in Chestnut Hill as mourners pay tribute to Frady's legacy. Paul? Well, I tell you, it was just an incredible, amazing outpouring of love and support. I'm outside of St. Ignatius Church here, where more than a thousand people gathered inside the church, an additional 600 in the overflow section that came to pay their respects to a man who literally changed the world with his battle with ALS. In a moment, we're going to listen in to the eulogy that Pete Frady's father, John Frady, spoke a moment ago. He made some very interesting points. You know, the key things he said is stay with the family, stay with the mission, love and support Pete's wife, Julie, and his daughter, Lucy. And of course, he talked about Pete's affirmation. Be passionate, be genuine, be hardworking, and don't ever, ever be afraid to be great. Listen to his words. There's no crying in baseball, right? And the words he said to us that night he was diagnosed is, there's no wallowing in ALS. So when we walk out of this beautiful, magnificent church after the ceremony's over, we're done with grieving. We're done. All we're doing is celebrating Pete Frades for the magnificent human he was. Thank you. A moment ago, we spoke with the BC coach, Pete's coach, Coach Mike Gambino, who simply said this, Pete changed everything. He changed ALS, he changed social media, he changed the world, he changed Boston College forever. And of course, what people will miss most of all about Pete is his incredible, beautiful smile. Reporting live outside of Chestnut Hill, I'm Paul Burton, CBS in Boston.